You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all of my ways, and before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and forward. And you lay your hand upon me, such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go to the heavens, you are there. If I make my beds in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, Surely the darkness will hide me, and the light will become night before me. Even the darkness will not be darker to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. Psalm 139, 1 through 12. The first half was written from the perspective of someone young and innocent, their view of God untainted from hardship. The second half of the collection retells those poems from the perspective of someone who has gone through hard times, has had a shift of heart. These poems are beautiful and reflect a growth of spirituality we all have to go through at some point. The Lamb by William Blake is a poem of innocence and asks how God made a gentle lamb from love and wonder. Little lamb, who made thee? Dost thou know who made thee? Gave thee life and bid thee feed by the stream and of the mead. Gave thee clothing of delight, softest clothing, holy bright. Gave thee such a tender voice, making all the veils rejoice. Little lamb, who made thee? Dost thou know who made thee? Little lamb, I'll tell thee. Little lamb, I'll tell thee. He is called by thy name, for he calls himself a lamb. He is meek, and he is mild. He became a little child. I a child, and thou a lamb. We are called by his name. Little lamb, God bless thee. Little lamb, God bless thee. <laughs> William Blake's second piece is of pair is The Tiger, a stark contrast from the assured, confident reader of the lamb. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What a mortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry. In what distant deeps or skies, hurt the fire of thine eyes. On what wings dare he aspire, what the hand dare seize the fire. In what shoulder and what art could twist the sinews of thy heart? When thy heart began to be, what dread hand and what dread feet? What the hammer, what the chain? In what furnace was thy brain? What the anvil, what dread grasp? Dare its deadly terrors clasp? When the stars threw down their spears and watered heaven with their tears, did he smile his work to see? Did he who make the lamb make thee? Tiger, tiger, bright, bright, in the forest of the night. What a mortal hand or eye dare frame my fearful symmetry. <laughs> 